human consciousness. In the last two decades or so, cognitive neuroscience and related disciplines have made giant strides in understanding the human brain and how it works. Much of that progress has been made by studying brain-impaired subjects. The results of such studies have helped to illumine the research reports by specialists in psychological anthropology who have long been aware of the common human capacity for experiencing more than 30 different levels of awareness or consciousness on a very regular basis. Human beings wander in and out of different levels of consciousness many times daily. Sleep, waking consciousness, daydreaming, road trance, fantasy, and so on. Here comes this dreamer, said Joseph's brothers derisively in Genesis 37, verse 19. At this point in the storyline, Joseph had dreamed that 11 bound sheaths bowed to his sheath, which stood upright in the field where they were all working. In another dream Joseph had, the sun, the moon, and 11 stars were bowing to him. Joseph was very imprudent by sharing his dreams with his older brothers. What is noteworthy, however, is that the dreams he had were immediately interpreted with ease by his brothers and his parents, who were understandably upset by their content. Joseph was not an American. He was not an introspective personality. He was not David Lynch where you have dreams that have these deep and highly personal meanings. Introspective. These are anti-introspective personalities. Joseph himself later interpreted the dreams of the chief butler and chief baker when he was in prison with them in Egypt in Genesis chapter 40. Easily. While modern readers are inclined to give dreams Jungian or other psychological interpretations, the ancients, such as Artemidorus, followed a different path. To understand our ancestors in the faith, it would help to begin with an overview of our own modern understanding. Human Consciousness Dreams take place in human consciousness, a rather complex dimension of the human person. While we have learned very much about human consciousness, there is still much more that eludes and puzzles researchers. Anthropologists who study and compare many cultures point out that the state of consciousness that we in the West consider ordinary or normal is actually a construct, not really a fixed fact of existence at all. Indeed, our ordinary state of consciousness is, in many ways, quite arbitrary. In other words, human consciousness is capable of a wide horizon of potentials that each culture shapes into a fixed and stable state. This state of consciousness adapts the individual more or less successfully to survive in his or her culture's consensus reality. What is consensus reality? Let's look at our consensus reality as Western Americans. Long before you and I came into existence, our respective Western culture had evolved into an agreement, a consensus, on how to view and interpret the real. It was not a democratic enterprise on which each member of this society voted or chose to agree or disagree concerning the interpretation of the real. That's not what consensus means. Consensus should not imply anything democratic. We are enculturated, some would say programmed, some would say conditioned, some would even say brainwashed, into our culture's consensus reality. And every culture 
has a pragmatic conscious state or a consensus reality. And different cultures have different consensus realities. Some extremely different than United States consensus reality. Here is our consensus reality symbolized. We are socialized and enculturated to accept introspective individualism and our core cultural value is instrumental activism. Do, do, do. Go, go, go. Win, win, win. Our trinity of sports, baseball, football, and basketball, exemplify and celebrate the, this core cultural value. In that culture, other than human persons densely populating the winds around us called spirits, are very much a normal part of their consensus reality. The consensus reality of the Bible. And even though spirits, other than human persons, densely populating the winds around us, are a normal, ordinary part of Middle Eastern consensus reality, the world of the Bible, in our Western culture, generally speaking, they are not. One anthropologist, Vincent Crapanzano, has enumerated more than 35 states of consciousness that all human beings are capable of. Let's look at a few. One alternate state of consciousness that human beings are capable of are called dreams. Dreams are vivid sensory motor series of thoughts, images, memories, emotions, and sensations. Seeing, hearing, touching, curiously not smell. You don't smell a dream. With a narrative structure experienced during sleep, one of over 35 different states of consciousness or awareness. The daydream is yet another state of consciousness. Daydreams are spontaneous, subjective experiences in a no-task, no-stimulus, no-response situation, including unintended thoughts that intrude inadvertently into the execution of intended mental tasks and undirected ideas in thought sampling during wakefulness. Nightmares are yet another alternate state of consciousness experience. They are an unpleasant rapid eye movement dream, usually in the early morning hours, that can cause a strong emotional response from a mind, typically fear but also despair, anxiety, and great sadness. Incubation dreams or lucid dreams are yet another alternate state of consciousness experience. They are any dream during which the dreamer is aware that they are dreaming. During lucid dreaming, the dreamer may be able to exert some degree of control over the dream characters, narrative, and environment, and can even solve problems. Hallucinations are another type of consciousness state. They are vivid, substantial perceptions in the absence of external stimuli that have the qualities of something located in external objective space. Dissociative identity disorder is a mental disorder and another alternate state of consciousness experience found on the dissociative spectrum characterized by the appearance of at least two distinct and relatively enduring identities or dissociated personality states that alternately show up in a person's behavior.
accompanied by memory impairment for important information not explained by ordinary forgetfulness. Yet another of the 35 different states observed of consciousness or awareness. What's moving, the black or the white? Illusions are yet another alternate state of consciousness. So when something in our perception stresses our percepts to the max and beyond. Distortions of the senses or the senses stressed to their limits, revealing how the brain normally organizes and interprets sensory information. Here is another alternate state of consciousness. Joan of Arc. Visions are yet another alternate state of awareness. They are experiences of seeing someone or something in a dream or trance or as a supernatural apparition. And they can have a powerful transformative effect on individuals and history. These are just a few of the many levels of human consciousness. We seem to be hardwired through the sacrament of evolution to experience holy and absolute mystery through over 35 different states of awareness. In the next few weeks, we will explore in further detail these different states of consciousness as well as others. Suffice to say that these, of course, are in addition to normal or waking consciousness or pragmatic consciousness, which is another way of saying our culture's consensus reality.